exercise about parallel straight lines using the Mongeus projection method. Consider the following exercise. The straight line R contains point R with coordinates 2, 1 and 2 and it does on frontal projection an angle of 30 degrees to the right with the X axis. It is known that R's front trace has an elevation of 4 cm. Another straight line S contains point S with coordinates minus 3, 2 and 3. Determine the projections of the two parallel straight lines R and S. Note that we will solve this exercise with the modulus projection or orthogonal double projection method. In this way it is provided a 3D auxiliary drawing corresponding to what we are doing in 2D on the left. We start by drawing the x-axis, the intersection of the frontal and horizontal reference planes represented on the right. Then we represent the profile plane that establishes the reference point for abscissas. To a better view, we will hide the profile plane, leaving only the y and z axis, and we can now represent the coordinates of our point R. 2 for abscissa, 1 for the ordinate or distance, and 2 for elevation. We know the direction of the frontal projection of R, so on the frontal projection of point R, R2, we draw the angle of 30 degrees to the right, obtaining the frontal projection of the straight line R, R2. To obtain the horizontal projection of the straight line R, we need the direction or another point verifying in this way the property of a straight line definition. On our data we have another point, the front trace F, of the straight line R, which is the point of intersection of this straight line with the frontal reference plane. So F2 needs to be over R2 at exactly 4 cm of elevation, so that this point can belong to this straight line following the property for a point to belong to a straight line. Having the two horizontal projections of points R and F, we can now draw the horizontal projection of the straight line R, R1. The projections of the straight line S can now be found, using point S of our data and the direction of the straight line R since they are parallel. Representing the coordinates of point S, and the projections of the straight line S pass through the corresponding projections of point S, verifying the aforementioned property of a point belonging to a straight line. On our 3D drawing, we can now represent the 3D points R and S and the corresponding straight lines. The conclusion that can be withdrawn is that if two straight lines are parallel, then its corresponding projections on the reference planes will also be parallel, in this case R2 parallel to S2 and R1 parallel to S1.